From is back with a brand new season and that means Fog Entertainment are back with a brand new set of death predictions. Welcome to the channel. But I think, unfortunately, there's not a prediction in here, but in fact, a spoiler, because anybody who's seen the premiere of Season 3, it looks like we've already said goodbye to one of these characters, and we will cover that when we get down to them. But we're going to start away at the top. We're going to work down from the main man, Sheriff Boyd, and we'll go right down to the, the last person with a face. So that's kind of how it works here. That's good logic for me. So let's kick off with Sheriff Boyd, alright? The main man, the only man I care about, damn it. The only guy that I think is hold, can hold a flame to any other TV show. Put it that way. He's the Rick Grimes, isn't aye. he? Of From. Aye, he's that guy. Let me tell you something, you know, Shane said that, but he's not dying. Boyd Stevens will only die in the film. Mel Dixon not say that? Let me tell you something, Mr. Yo. Anyway, look, well, I, yeah, I, I, I kind of think that Boyd has to be, it's his series. Now, yes, you do get the odd show, I guess, that kills off the main cat, but it's very rare that the main character doesn't make it to the end. I think that From will end with either Sheriff Boyd saving everyone or Sheriff Boyd, you know, condemning everyone to this town. I don't see how Boyd dies this season, especially as I believe that this is not the final season. So I'm going to go with Sheriff Boyd to live. Yeah, I believe it's already been confirmed for season four, so... That in mind, he's going to live. I'll tell you what, if he died, my interest would die. Yeah, he's going to live. Right, we'll move into the Matthews now. We've got Tabitha up next. I felt like one of the Matthews family should have probably bit the dust in season two. <sighs> the likelihood, that, likelihood is I think one of them must probably die in season three. Tabitha's currently on the outside, so therefore you might argue you'd expect her to live. Will she even get back in? It's going to be interesting to hear how they, how they cross those paths. I'm going to go with Tabitha to survive, but you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if they throw a curveball and she dies. Yeah, I'm going to go with Tabitha to live. I think a Matthews is going to die. I think a, an adult Matthews is going to die, but just not Tabitha. That means it doesn't look good for Jim. Jim Matthews. I'm going to go with Jim to uh, to bite the the dust. I think Jim could be gone. Yeah, I think he'll die. Again, I don't think, if it's not this season, I definitely think Jim will die. I can definitely see a world where Tabitha returns, expecting to reunite with her family, but she has to console her grieving kids who have lost her father. Can you not see it? So you, you see don't it. think Tabitha and Jim will ever see each other again? Well, no, they couldn't. They might see each other, but, I mean, it might be a way of, like, Jim has to die to bring Tabitha back to that world or something. You know what I mean? Could be. It could do something uh, with that dynamic. Ah, uh, you're going Jim to die, I am going Jim to die. Right, up next we've got Jade, who's just hanging around at this point. I'm going to go with Jade to live, and I think most of the characters will probably live, because From don't tend to kill many people off, and honestly, I think if Jim died from this main cast, that would be, in their eyes, big enough, because we haven't really seen a lot of characters be killed. So I'm going to go with Jade to survive, even though he's not doing anything. He's a wee bit wacky, I think he, I think they show up. Can, can he not... Re can he not return to normal? Can he not return to the Jade that we've seen in season one? How great was it when he was obnoxious and he didn't, he didn't wasn't buying it? He thought it was a prank? Yeah, to me, that was my favourite version of Jade. Season two, he seemed to go downhill, and in season three, he seems crazier than ever. So, yeah, not really impressed. Up next with Victor. Victor, you know what? I would have been... I would have been predicting Victor to die, but I think the introduction of his father on the outside makes me believe that Victor can live now. Yeah, I think, it, I think it's a waste of opportunity if him and his father don't reunite. Yeah, so I, I think that we will see Victor survive. And hell, maybe his father could sacrifice some, his life for Victor. Had Victor's father not been introduced, though, I think Victor could have been on the chopping block. But I think he's going to survive. Right, up next got Kenny. Lost his father at the beginning of season one. Looks like he's lost his mother at the beginning of uh, season three. Will he lose himself? I think that Kenny's going to survive. Yeah. Unless they want to, you know, eliminate the entire Asian population. Yeah. The monsters must be racist. The, the, the racist? Aye. The Asian population. Right, the Asian population. I think that was pretty good. I think Kenny's living. I think Kenny's living as well. Right, up next we've got uh, Fatima, who I Let me just think say could... a few words here. I do not care for Halfway House or whatever it's called. I, 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 think, if, I think everybody, I think Halfway House could get blown up by a nuke and I wouldn't care. I'm going to go with Fatima to die. I don't think a baby will be born in this world. 
I'm going to go with Fatima to die. I don't think it's going to be a Walking Dead where Laurie must die to save Judith or some shit like that. I think the baby will probably kill her and she will die. I mean, possibly. I'm going to go with her to die. I think she's going to die. Uh, that means I think Ellis will probably live because I don't see both of them dying. So I'm going to go with Fatima to die, Ellis to live. Do you not live. feel like there's such like a... It just feels disconnected halfway house in the rest of the town. Like, Ellis and Boyd, did, did, did they even interact? Is it well, even the I mean, they did have beef, didn't they, for most part? No, they did, but that made sense. They've made good sense. I mean, Boyd's becoming a grandfather. It's like, does he even give a shit? Yeah, I will. Oh, let's, feed the, let's feed the goats. All right, up next, we've got Ethan Matthews. I kind of wish this guy would die, but it's not going to happen. I don't, I, I, you know, I, I don't like the kid, but I think you're going a bit nuclear on the guy. I don't like him. Even, I don't like even him. his you little like... face starts pissing me off. Aye. So I'm going to go with him to survive. Yeah, yep. live. Up next, got Donna. Honestly, would not care if she died, but I think she'll live. Looks better in that photo than she does in the show. I'll give her that. Uh, I'll go for her to live. Right. Uh, she won't be starving anytime soon. Christy pretty much had nothing to do, really, apart from say goodbye to Kenny in the premiere. I'll go with Christy to live, why not? She's a doctor. That bo- but I tell you what, I feel like if they pulled the trigger and killed her last season, early on when she reunited with her girlfriend, or in season one, it would have felt like a much bigger death. I think you kill her now, man. And, it, and by, see, by the next episode, you'd be forgetting her. Yeah, I agree. Right, Sarah, I think she probably should have seen the box. Yeah, why is she still floating about? I get it, Boyd forgave her and all this stuff, but... It's up to Boyd. I mean, she killed Jade's friend, like literally murdered him. I mean, you can't even say, oh, she allowed it. She actually legitimately killed him hands on. And then obviously she unlocked the door and allowed the other woman to die and Kenny's father to... For me, I don't know if it's a gender thing, like, but Boyd got soft. I think it is a gender but, but look, thing. But look, look, look at... Look at um, Who's the guy at the beginning? Is he called Jim as well? The guy that let his family die. Yeah, I see. It was an accident. Yeah, I mean, that man guy protects his family. Yeah, but you know what I mean. Like that, that guy accidentally fell asleep, didn't get home to lock the doors, and his family died because his daughter was dumb enough to open the window. He didn't mean to kill his family. Is that what died to his wife as well? Though should she not close the windows? You, you would think so. Although he was told to, you know, barricade or whatever. But still, I mean, I get that. But that's like negligence. What Sarah done was murder. Yeah, no, there's a clear difference. If you can't see that, then I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, she didn't. And I don't think she's the worst character, but I just, I, I don't understand why she's been a... Did, did Boy... Was it just after Boyd seen the box in use? Was he like, oh, crap, we can't use this? Because I believe... Was that not the first time it was used? Yeah, I think the last time it was used. So he retired it? The box has been retired. All right, up next got Julie Matthews. In my opinion, doesn't offer anything to this show, really. Had her little hissy fit at the beginning. I want to go and be a whore at the uh, the halfway house despite being 16 and my parents are going to go and let me live there with all these random fucking people. Great parent in there for Jim and Tabitha. Um, yeah, just I think she'll yeah, live. Boyd was like, oh, but she's made a decision. Don't know. Oh, it's final. It's like, no, hold on. She's a child. Let's see if Ethan said, I want to live at the halfway house. I want to live in Victor's room. I, well, <laughs> well, 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 they just have to accept it. Well, he's made his choice, man. You know, like, it's a bit dumb. A man kick, it takes care of his family, unless his seven-year-old boy wants to sleep with Victor, brother. Right, I'm going to go with Julie to survive. Yeah. Right, up next we have uh, Tang Ching Lu, who is Kenny's mother. I believe she's already dead. I think she's Tan Patty Breed. Yeah, so I think that's the spoiler here. I'm going to go she dies. Yeah. All righty. Up next we've got Tilly. I believe she arrived on the bus. Just don't care. Honestly, do not care. Hopefully one turns up and she can fucking leave on it. Yeah. <laughs> bus stop, please. Taxi! Uh, I'm going to go with Tilly to... I mean, we're getting to the point now where I just don't care if these people live or die. Yeah. Tilly, are you going no, to... No, I tell you what. See, see, bringing that bus in, that was the opportunity to inject this show with some great fucking characters. And they have not done it. They they have not done it. See, the, see the, I can't... See Randall, right? I think he's the best. But Jesus Christ. See, after him, man, it's like... I mean, he's not even that good. But see, after him, there's nobody. No, I thought he had potential, but I think he's... I don't really like him anyway. Anyway, Tilly, something... I don't know. I think there's something off about Tilly. I don't... I don't know. I don't, I don't think she's a monster because she's, like, blending in, but I wonder if she could be. I don't know. I, I don't really trust Tilly. No. But I think she'll probably... Don't really care enough either. Though. Actually, I'm going to say die. Right, I'm going to go die. 
Because right. you're getting to the point where some of these people have to die. Mary, I'm going to say die. Yeah, I'm going to go die as well. I mean, what has she done? She was only really there to throw a bit of beef in to the whole um, Christy Kenny situation. That love triangle was boring. It's past its time. She wasn't even in the premiere of season three. I don't see what she's offering. I'm going to go with her to die. I, I feel like you, you kind of need deaths that kind of affect people. And I think that if a Matthews family member dies, that kind of affects them. If Fatima dies, that affects Boyd and Boyd's son and the whole town because their babies kind of died. So I feel like we kind of need, I don't know, Kenny's on his own. Could Mary die and open up the door for Christy and Kenny? Look, it could, but... Christy and Kenny just sounds better than Christy and Mary, doesn't it? KK. Could they marry Christy? KKK. That's plenty. Right, moving Randall on. Randall looks like a member of the KKK. Yeah, he does, but will Randall be kicking the bucket uh, with a capital K? I don't know. I'm going to go with Randall He's to... like the only antagonistic member of the group. It makes zero sense to kill him. He's a really shite version of an antagonist. Isn't he, though? I mean, I think... Who was the guy that tried to kill Boyd last season and then... Ah, it was some bum. I don't even know. (laughs) He blamed Boyd for his sister dying or something. I don't even know whose sister is. I'm going to go with Randall to survive. And then up next, we have Elgin. The worst character in the show. Yeah. See these dreams about him being a big, fat, black guy in the bath? I mean, oh, fuck. That's going to get me on the first. I'm going to go with Elgin to die. Screw it. Why not? I'm, I'm picking Elgin to die. So, are you going with Elgin to die? Yeah. So can we just confirm we're going Elgin to die, Mary to die, Tilly to die. We believe that Tang Chen Lu's already dead. We're going with Fatima to die, and we're going with Jim to die. Is I that, agree. Is, yeah. that, is I mean, that the five deaths? Yeah, the only thing worse than Elgin in the bath would probably be uh, Fat Donna. Fat Donna. Anyway, we don't want any Donna bath scenes, guys. Let us know your death predictions down below, and we'll catch you in the next one from... See episode two is out tonight, so hopefully our review will follow this video pretty damn soon. And I mean, yeah, I thought the premiere was disappointing, but I'm I'm hoping to see if they can fix it in episode two. So we'll catch you for that one, guys. Till next time, though. Peace.